Good morning everyone and welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. This video is going to be a rabbit tractor update. And I want to apologize for the goats and chickens that will be in this video. They like to just walk around everywhere so they will be interrupting and stuff so I'm sorry in advance for that. So over the summer we had Henwin, our four week old rabbit, um, in a tractor, she ate only grass until she was four months old, from four weeks to four months, and she grew. She's a bit smaller than she sh would have been if um, she didn't, but she's now in the rabbit colony eating grain with all the other rabbits, so she's catching up pretty fast. So that was a success, and now we have only two bucks in here. We did have a lot of grow outs in tractors. They grew very slow and didn't get quite up to full size, but they were free to eat, so that was awesome too. So we moved Henwin into the colony with the other rabbits and we butchered all the grow outs, and now we only have Ronwin and Ivanhoe each in one tractor left for the winter. Now we are heading into winter and the grass has stopped growing, and so we're having to change the rabbit's diet. So far we've only had them on tractor, like they've been able to eat, they had water, and whatever they could get in the tractor and that was all but now we've started to add some hay we have hay in there and we give them some grain sometimes as well as sunflower heads and pumpkins and because they can't get as much as they usually can from the grass we do have to supplement so but as soon as it's spring and everything starts growing again we will continue to do just them on grass the reason we have two bucks on tractors is because I always like to have a backup buck, so Barlow in our colony is the main buck, but I like to have a backup, and I just figured, well, we have two bucks, and they're both really good, and like, I can't decide which one, if I had a butcher one, I can't decide because they're both really good, so I'm just gonna have two backup bucks for a while, I mean, they're not costing me as much as they usually would if I just had to feed them grain, and they haven't cost me hardly anything this whole year, so we're gonna keep two bucks for now and we'll see what happens with that, but I might end up butchering one, but for now we have three bucks, um, one buck who's actually being used, and two backup bucks. So, yep, that's the update, we move them twice a day, and all the other tractors we have we put away for storage for the winter, and when we have more babies or want to put more rabbits on tractors, we definitely will get them out again, but for now we're just doing it really easy and slow for the winter, um, because not a lot of grass is growing, so kind of what's the point of having them tractors if you can just if you have to feed them the stuff anyways, but there is some grass still growing, so we're not doing a ton of tractors right now, but we will pick back up in the spring, and it'll be awesome. So that is the rabbit tractor update for you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, don't forget to press the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like this, and comment below with any questions or comments you may have. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!